Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jimbo. I know I've been pumping out a lot of Amazon content lately, but I wanted to get back into detailing uh, just for this quick video and give you, there'll be a daily detail tip. How about that? Um, and what I want to talk about is three simple ways to ensure that you get a customer for life. Three really simple ways to get a detailing customer to use you forever. Tip number one, act professional on the phone or just don't act like a dumbass. How about that? Act like you really want the customer's business. So ask them, you know, be polite, use proper proper grammar as I'm gonna stumble on my words, but, but act like you really want the job, right? So great, be enthusiastic about it, be, um, which I get accused of, not being enthusiastic a lot, but that's okay. Uh, but just act like you really want the job. Return their phone call in a timely manner. People want stuff done quickly. They probably want to schedule that appointment quickly. Um, act like you want the job, tip number one. So that is pre-detail, right? So two of these, one of these things are gonna be pre-detail. I actually have four tips. So first one would be to act professional on the phone. Second one is to uh, show up at the appointment time that you actually set. So I've gotten an ungodly amount of, of work and return clients from simply showing up when I said I would. In fact, I did a video last year on how to make an additional $400 in detailing and the whole premise of that video was I showed up when I said I was going to show up, which is crazy. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Of course I show up when I said I was going to show up. But the, the problem is, is that especially within our, our industry of detailing, um, because it's a lower barrier to entry, um, there's also uh, a lot of not smart people in the industry. Uh, unfortunately, and I'm probably one of them. But if you are just have a little bit more common sense and a little bit more drive and a little bit more willingness to do things when you say you're actually gonna do them, you can succeed really far. So uh, act professional on the phone, show up on time. Third one where, where I was gonna end it is actually do a good job. Like do what you said you were gonna do and then do a good job. If you're Even if you're just gonna wash the car even if you're just doing an isolated scratch removal, um, whatever you may be doing, just do a good job doing it. Do clean work. Don't have your your equipment laying all over their grass and all over their driveway. You know, systematically work through the detail and through the job. And yes, you're going to have pieces of equipment here and there, but but be clean in your work and then offer a clean job. And then the last bonus thing um, would be to follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up with your customer. Shoot them a text, use something like slide dial, uh, shoot them a phone call, do whatever you gotta do, follow up and make sure that they are happy with the work that you did. If you do those four things, even if you do three of those things, uh, the fourth one was kind of a bonus, I guarantee you, you will get a customer forever. So uh, hopefully whether you've just entered in your detailing business or maybe it's not, maybe it's just a service based business. Uh, obviously detailing is my niche and that's how I like to only really speak from experience. Um, but if you do those three or four things, guarantee you, you will have customers for life um, and you will be a successful business person, especially a successful detailer um, because it's so funny how rare it is for detailers in general, at least in my area, could be different across the world, uh, across the country, uh, but in my area, showing up on time, being professional, and doing a good job. I'm not even gonna say great, phenomenal, nothing. I don't wanna set the bar too high for ourselves. Just doing a good job and doing those other things and following up with customers will get you really far. So if you're not doing that, start impl implementing those things today.